North Dakota Game and Fish Department fisheries crews are surveying many water bodies statewide looking for small fish to determine the health of the fisheries before going into winter. And those are surveys designed to see what we may have had for natural reproduction that's occurred in any of our fisheries or what type of success we may have had with that year's stockings that occurred back in May and June. This survey helps biologists determine which lakes could use a boost from stocking in the spring. So if we have a lake that we know has, say, abundant forage, uh, isn't going to be prone to winter kill, uh, but we didn't see good stocking success this year or good natural reproductive success, that's a lake that we might try and allocate more of our hatchery resources to next year. There are two primary things that determine fish growth, water temperatures and forage available in a lake. So when we collect these fish, uh, we uh, take lengths from these fish, uh, count them, uh, and then you know, assessing the lengths of these fish gives us some pretty good idea of what we had for growing conditions in this lake uh, since those fish were either stocked or naturally reproduced. Equipment used for these surveys is different than summer adult fish surveys. When our, we do our fall reproduction surveys, we typically use a combination of small mesh gill nets that are designed to capture those smaller fish. And then we also set some trap nets, which can catch some walleye and perch, uh, but are typically more uh, better designed to sample our, our primary forage base in many of our lakes, our fathead minnows. While we are in the South Central Fisheries District today, it's fair to say survey results vary statewide. Some lakes we've seen tremendous success uh, with some of our, our hatchery stockings this year. Uh, other lakes we have seen some good natural reproductive success, particularly with perch, but occasionally walleye as well. The fall reproduction surveys can be contributed to why fishing in North Dakota has been so good over the last decade. It's one of the more essential management tools we have uh, for allocating our hatchery resources especially uh, to try and maintain the best fisheries possible. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.